Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Sigma Level and Process Capability Indices In this video, we will have a quick overview of process capability indices CP and CPK. We will then illustrate the mathematical relationship between sigma level and the capability index CP. We will also illustrate how the 1.5 sigma shift relates to the modified capability index CPK. We have explained the concepts of process capability indices CP and CPK in our video on this subject. You may remember that CP equals voice of customer upon voice of process or simply stated CP equals tolerance upon six standard deviation tolerance upon six sigma. Link to this video is mentioned in the description of this video. In the same video, we have also explained the effect of process centering on the capability index and the CP gets modified to CPK, which is minimum of CP upper and CP lower, CPU and CPL. As mentioned earlier, link to this video is mentioned in the description of this video. We have also explained the concept of sigma level and calculation of proportion defective as well as PPM in our video on this subject. Link to this video is also shown in the description of this video. Let us also recall the definition of sigma level from our previous video. If tolerance equals 2 into k sigma, k can be considered as sigma level of the process. So for sigma level of 6, tolerance will be equal to 12 sigma. For sigma level of 5, tolerance will be equal to 10 sigma. For sigma level of 4, tolerance will be equal to 8 sigma and so on. The table shows this. Let us now understand mathematical relationship between sigma level and process capability index CP. Remember, CP equals tolerance upon 6 sigma and tolerance equals 2k sigma where k is the sigma level. Therefore, CP equals tolerance upon 6 sigma that equals 2k sigma upon 6 sigma. Sigma gets cancelled and we can then say that CP is equal to k upon 3 that is equal to sigma level upon 3. We can also say that sigma level equals 3 into CP. Let us look at a table of sigma level versus tolerance and the CP values. So for sigma level of 6, CP will be one third of 6 that is 2. For sigma level of 5, it will be 1.66. For sigma level of 4, CP will be equal to 1.33 and for sigma level of 3, CP will be equal to 1. Let us now understand the mathematical relationship between sigma level versus CPK. First, we will illustrate this relation for a 6 sigma level of process. We know that the process capability index CPK considers shift of the process mean and the sigma level calculation considers this shift to the extent of 1.5 sigma. If the shift is to the right of the tolerance mean, then the new mean will be equal to 1.5 sigma. USL equals plus 6 sigma and LSL equals minus 6 sigma. This is for a six sigma level of process. Therefore, CPU will be equal to USL minus mean upon three sigma. That is equal to six sigma minus 1.5 sigma upon three sigma or 4.5 sigma upon three that is equal to 1.5. CP lower CPL will be equal to mean minus LSL upon three sigma. That is equal to 1.5 sigma minus six sigma upon three sigma that equals 7.5 sigma upon 3 sigma that is equal to 2.5. Therefore, CPK will be lower of the two that is equal to 1.5. At 6 sigma level of performance, CP is equal to 2, 
and CPK will be equal to 1.5 as shown above. We can apply similar logic for a 5 sigma level up process. USL now will be plus 5 sigma and LSL will be minus 5 sigma. If we perform the CPK calculation, we can easily see that the CPK equals 1.17. Therefore, at 5 sigma level of performance, we had already seen CP equals 1.66 and now CPK will be 1.17 as shown here. In the previous illustrations, we have assumed that the process mean will shift to the right. But what will happen if the shift is to the left instead of right? Values of CP and CPK for various sigma levels will be same irrespective of direction of shift of the process mean. Viewers can check for this mathematical relationship. We can summarize the values of sigma level versus CP and CPK in a table as shown below. For a sigma level of 6, CP will be 2 and CPK will be 1.5. For a sigma level of 5, CP 1.67 and CPK 1.17. Sigma level of 4, CP equals 1.33 and CPK will be 0.83. Sigma level of 3, CP will be equal to 1 and CPK will be equal to 0.5. Let us do a recap of the video. We have seen a quick overview of process capability indices CP and CPK. We have illustrated the mathematical relationship between sigma level and capability indices CP and CPK. We have also summarized the relationship in a table. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on reliability engineering, Six Sigma and quality engineering.